Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. We're picking up right where we left off in Chapter 8. It's a trap. Following Orson down into the cells. My good friend and companion Orson. Thank goodness you managed to escape where no other could. Don't worry, Orson. You're such a good friend, I can forgive you. Why? Well, Orson, I do trust you with all of my soul. You have proven to be a valuable friend and companion. Ooh, I think he just gave himself away. another good one. That's the one. Because remember, Seth said that only he and the king, uh, the king only told Seth of the tie between Erica's bracelet and the sacred stone. Orson slipped. <laughs> Seth's like, yeah, I'm a badass. Yep. Orson was the traitor. Who saw it coming? My excellent friend, companion, and compatriot, protector, and bestest pal. Oh, get, get your ass back here. I'm going to put a sword in your face. This is Toronto. We just heard about him in the last fight. Yes, indeed. Interesting. Is this the part where Seth just spontaneously remembers he can fly? Alright, alright. First thing I need to do, I'll get rid of that night crest. I'm not going to use it for a while. I will show you real quick. Boink. For Knights and Cavaliers, level 10 and up. That will promote them to uh, a next, the second tier class, but like I was talking about in the last uh, battle. Leveling them up right when they hit 10 is just a bad idea. Um, get them up to level 20. I mean, there's just no reason not to. It may take a little bit longer to grind the levels, but it's just so much more worth it. That way you get everything you can possibly get out of the characters, and all the potential levels they can possibly gain, you do gain. Alright, vulneraries, vulneraries, Ross. I want you with more vulneraries. This is a fight where you really want to bring all your good guys. What does Pure Water do? Oh, boost resist. I don't need that. 
boost resistance, so bring that along in a fight where you face a lot of magic users. Alright, I can only bring nine units. This is actually kind of tough. Um, honestly, I love Josh, but I don't think he's really ready for this fight. In fact... Give Eric your armor slayer. Alright, vulneraries, vulneraries, vulneraries. Now the question is, do I bring in Seth? I think I can get by fine without him. So the last question is... Yeah, it's basically the question is, is Seth coming in for Naomi? And I think... I think think this will be sufficient. Let's give ourselves a little save. Actually, let's save right here. And let's save right here. Alright, so just make sure it's got everyone correct. Good. Let's go. Oh, I don't know where my friends just came from. I believe the boss is a pro- yeah, he looks promoted. He is a level 1 general. He is big and bad, and has lots of constitution, and a pretty beefy defense. But we're going to take him down. And notice I had Garcia bring his chest key. Alright, let's take a look real quick. Let me take a check out this map. Alright, it's... Okay, this is a portion of the map that Ephraim fought on. Alright. I don't know if I want to do two groups yet. But I'll just take out this first room and see what's up. Ugh. Frost has a mighty swing. Wow, 17, huh? Now yeah, let's kill this guy. Oh, excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, Garcia. Finish that fool off. Congratulations on your sudden ability to hit things. I think I will turn Gilliam to the left. I think I will put Naomi... Ah, let's see. Eric is probably going to be a floater unit, jumping here and there. This is going to be an interesting fight. I'm looking mostly toward that, towards that northern room. Oh, bring it. Ephraim! <laughs> well, awesome! We got Ephraim and his bros with us now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to rip off this guy's face. Finally, the two of them are going to get reunited. So what is this, five hours into the game? Oh, who heals the healer? Honestly, it's not a horrible idea to give Natasha elixirs, just because she can't heal herself with her stabs. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting room to get into. That's a lot of knights. Uh, Naomi, you probably can't do any damage to him. So, let's see. Let's move you. 
All right, let's do that. Oh, I forgot he was almost dead. Never mind, let's have, uh... uh Garcia... Ross... Yeah, you know what, let's have Ross finish him off. Look at that, still gaining a decent chunk of XP. And a door key, fantastic. <sighs> I think I'll split the spellcasters. Well, I guess I'll see how Ephraim's group goes, actually. Let me see here. Alright, can you attack down there? No! Alright, fantastic. Are you still missing your javelin? Alright, that's fine, that's fine. No one has ranged attacks, really. And Ephraim on foot. Go Ephraim. Yeah, it looks like they pretty much have that area here. Oh, hold on, shifting in chair. Ow! Yay! Fair level. Good job. I'm pretty sure I hear Gilliam laughing underneath his armor. Now you're gonna attack him. As expected. Hopefully, uh, Ford still has some healing items. He does not! Alright, well, let's get Ford out of the way. <laughs> just in case there. Kyle, you are up, yo. Stab. Right through your throat. Yay, another level up. Mm, okay, level. Ephraim, your turn. Why not? Oh, that thing is so dead. Yay, another level. Woo, this is a good start. Nice offensive level there. Probably just wait till everyone... Oops. Probably just wait till everyone gets together then before I try to head north. Yeah, that's probably what it'll do. Let's take a look. Cut through the north door, sweep through there, head west to finish them off. Kill them. Yeah, that seems like a plan. Everyone's healed, pretty much. Alright. Again, be careful of the walls. Don't want the shaman to be able to attack you. Unless, of course, you can attack back. Do your worst. <laughs> really? He wants to try his luck, too? It's not going to stop me from just going up, though. How about you? You got a one elixir. All right. And from you have stuff. Right? One elixir. All right. Well, Natasha's going to have her work cut out for her. Let's see if we can bait that shaman into attacking Archer. 
Garcia have the door key? He has the chest key. Got the door key. Alright, we'll have Ross move up. Get them ready for the assault. Actually, let's move Natasha a little further down so she can meet up with Ephraim's dudes. Give them some much needed heals. You fell for it, you fool. Ho-ho! Oh, okay, dude. Oh. That, uh, um, that changes things a bit. Because I'm sure they're going to be aggressively heading towards me. So let's make this reunion swift. <laughs> well, of course I am. Duh! <laughs> of course. Alright, but that's not all we have going. Uh, need some fat heels, please, Natasha. Alright, where... Oh, crap, I don't have Seth with me. Seth can also talk to Ephraim. Oh, me, I found. Okay, whatever. He's gonna finish him off anyway. Oh, come on. Really? I wonder if the mage is gonna keep coming. Ooh, okay, yeah. That's, um. Need to hurry up and set up a defensive line here. Uh, Franz, go talk to your brother. <laughs> Burned. Your brother wants to be more like Seth than like you. <laughs> Sorry, man. It happens. All right, Natasha, pass out the healing. Look. Oh no, not a god. Oh well, she still got her to level. Oh, these guys are gonna catch up pretty quick. Erica and Ephraim, I want you on the front. Naomi, you are just behind. You will provide fire support. Loot, I need you to meet them down there. Ross can stay up here. You guys can stay up here. The only... Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is that the mage is going to arrive at the same time as the cavaliers. That could get a little dicey. Alright, Natasha, heal up this guy. Alright, Gilliam will ride out. Ah, hold on, let's check that. Wow, that's quite a bit of range you got there. Maybe I want to move the vanguard back just a little bit. Can Franz talk with her from? I swear Franz, someone could talk to him. I know there's another conversation. It's Eric can talk to Ephraim. Ephraim can talk to Seth. Franz can talk to... Uh, Ford. I think someone can talk to Kyle. No? Erica talk to Kyle? Can Ephraim talk to Kyle? <laughs> oh, I forget. Anyway, let's go ahead and move the rear guard back. 
we want the enemy to come to us on our terms. As I expected. Alright, well, they pretty much lined up just how I wanted them. So, that's one good thing. Bring the pain, Gilliam. What can you do? Not finish him off. Okay. Loot. Excellent. That's what I wanted to see. The goal here is two combats per enemy. Try to take them down in two rounds apiece. Make this as efficient as we can. This guy is so dead. you to do, Erica. Oops. Not when I'm <laughs> pressing buttons too fast. Ah, she's still got her level. Ah, finally a point in defense. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Alright, I forgot her bow has a weird attack pattern. Hmm. Oh, we are so dead. Amy can't get him at all, so okay then. Get him, Franz. Alright, managed to control that situation pretty good. Alright, let's uh, get the group back up north then. Got some quick heals. Ephraim's in good shape, excellent. Now it is tempting to uh, splinter a group off to take on this uh, left side here, but I like taking my forces with me pretty much all at once. Splitting them up is a perfectly good option, especially if you brought Natasha and Mulder. And if that's the case, um, it's not a bad idea at all. We have two very self-sufficient teams. But just in case something goes wrong, enemy gets a lucky crit, you know, stuff like that, I like to keep the group together so I can basically fill, fill out the ranks if I need to pull someone back real quick. Alright, is everyone pretty much good? Moving, we'll toss a heel to Franz, then get the show on the road. Ross was born ready for this. And Erica. Alright, this is going to be an interesting next round. I mean, the prudent move would actually be to head west, snake around, and then take these guys on in a more controlled area, but that's for sissies. I wish unlocking a door didn't use up your turn, that's just, that's just silly. 
Alright, we can pretty safely assume how this is going to go down, so let's just get right in their faces and get right to it. The best defense is a good spear to the enemy's face. Man, Franz. He's probably going to be my first promotion. He's gaining levels like a fiend all of a sudden. Garcia. Wow, you take a ton of damage, Garcia. And Natasha's not really in range for you. Let's see what else we can do here. What, is this guy like a super pimp or something? He just hits so much harder. Oh, he's got a steel lance. And I got steel and iron. <laughs> okay, well, Ford's not attacking him. Oh, this is... This is bad. I really wanted someone other than Franz up here. Might have to play this defensively. should die in this round. Uh, of course, they're probably all going to have 58% chance of the hit, and they'll probably hit me every single time. There we go. Look at that, man. These, oh, that's the one with the Iron Lance, though. But yeah, Franz is definitely, uh, definitely a beast. Jeez, I might be using that Night Emblem sooner than I thought. Franz hop up here, use a vulnerary to heal himself. Uh, Ross wants in on this action. Wonder if I can Claire could get in. Yes, all right. That's part that's the whole point. Get in with that armor slayer. Whoops my ass. Alright, that wasn't uh that wasn't bad at all actually. You know, playing it defensively is uh oftentimes a good strategy. I advocate it quite a bit because it just tends to work. Poor Gilliam. <laughs> I wish his movement range wasn't so atrocious. We do have an archer over here to war Well, <laughs> I use the term worry about loosely in his case. Oh, he's got long range, too. Garcia, what's in the chest? Angelic robe. What is... Oops. Can I not look at your items? Fine. Angelic Robe raises something. I forget what. I think it's resistance. Let's get Erica moving. We're gonna form a new front line right here. Uh, Natasha. Give Kyle some healing love. All right. All 
Franz, get back into the fight. Whoop that archer's ass, please. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I definitely see Franz getting promoted. Oh, and an excellent level, too. Franz, I'm doing... I'm getting pretty lucky with stat growth. I'm like Erica. She's coming in possibly a couple points behind where I'd like her to be, but that's why I keep those stat items in the convoy, so I can, you know... Like that dragon shield, I'll upper defense by two points, possibly. Okay. We need to lure these guys out. I'm gonna form the front line on the stairs here. You don't need the armor slayer though. Guess we'll finish off the killing edge. I don't like even if the weapon's really good, I generally don't like carrying it around if it only has a couple uses. Just feels like it weighs the inventories down. You may move Gilliam. And Amy, I'm going to have to work on leveling as well. She's definitely well behind where she should be. You are dead. Ooh. Where did they all just come from? I hate surprise reinforcements. I shouldn't be... I mean, I shouldn't be that shocked. We already had reinforcements, though. Gotta be careful about that. That's another reason I don't like leaving units spread up or, you know, spread around. It's a good way to accidentally get yourself killed, really. Thankfully, we were able to take this guy out before he can do anything. It's always good. Being able to take out reinforcements the turn they spawn is pretty big strategically. Alright, get Erica back up. Okay, we got a thief. I don't know what he's gonna do, but um can I would really rather have one of my guys get down there for the experience, but you gotta do what you can. I hate thieves! This is what they're so useless in combat. Like, getting a couple extra items is just not worth having to bring them with you. That's always been my stance on them. Spellcasters certainly haven't seen a lot of action this map. Is Archer even seen combat? Oh yeah, against the Shaman, right. I, th I thought so. But, I mean, there's so many... I mean, adding in Ephraim's guys, I mean... Whoa! Why did he get so much XP? Well, I really wish one of my own guys had killed him. Why aren't you coming? Got that. Ah, but he can't attack her as well, so okay. What's your attack range look like? Franz, back down here. Before I forget about him. Uh, Gilliam, I can't wait till I have swift souls for you. So you can actually have a decent movement range. Come on, bring it! It has been brought.
And Ephraim with a fat level. And a delightful level it was. Now well, I guess we'll just have Erica finish you. Uh, one more use of our killing edge, of course. Garcia, you haven't seen a lot of action this combat. Just go ahead and chop that guy's head off. More heals to Erica. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I just fast forward healing. You don't need to watch that little bubble every time, it's just boring. Combat is amusing, healing is not. That's right, we don't think we can go in the water. But we have a cracked wall over there, so it's not a big deal. Wow, he's got... Oh, I was going to say, he's got long range. Well, he's got a long bow. It makes sense. Jeez. Big damage coming to Garcia all of a sudden. And it's not going to stop Garcia from ripping this guy's head off, but, you know... And a level up for our favorite axe man. A uh, pretty good level too. Oh, that's interesting. Hi, right, Ross. I'm going to have to give him a new lightning book soon. Have one in the convoy, I think. Now get back into it, Franz. You're slacking, dude. I want to... Get Ford and Kyle out of the area there. Free up, get some breathing room for everyone. Yeah, let's leave it like that for now. Huh, your attack is pretty futile there, random shaman. choice here is pretty clear. Finish off that shaman. Attack the wall. Yeah, let's see, should I heal Garcia or Archer? Yeah. Yeah, we have an incoming level for Natasha as well. Good times. I think Gilliam's going to be too slow to be useful here, so we'll have him chill with the other guys. Same thing with Ephraim. Let's have him chill back. Focus on my team. If you only move one space at a time, this is, this is going to take forever, so. Yeah, might as well just keep him up there. The wall has been defeated. Why didn't I get any XP? Yeah, 
Yeah, Armor Slayer. That'll be the day. Yay! Hmm, what are you gonna do? More importantly, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I can get away with putting Garcia there. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Actually, yeah, I forgot we had Natasha able to go, so yeah, be just fine. Alright, I guess I'll set this group up for killing the boss. And Amy's not going to do much there, so alright. And you die. Pretty sure no one else has a door key, I'm just milking this for XP. Oh, you want a piece too? It is a locked door, yes, yes. Okay, Franz, let's get you the finishing hit. Since I saw... Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely finishing hit there. So I have big plans for Franz in the future. Alright. Let's head back to the... No. Level up! Alright, his defense is huge, so this is pretty much going to be a, a caster fight, so... But, he is a general, so Erica is going to rip him apart with the armor slayer as well. So let's form the line... Like this... Like that... Like this... Archer up and yup. I said up and yup. Alright, starting to get into action here. Now, what kind of damage do you do? Oh god. Can America reach him this turn? 40 hit points? Oh my god. And 21 damage? Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's, um... And he's got a javelin. Good lord, that's a lot of HP. Alright, yeah, we need to uh, approach this carefully. 21 damage, damn. How much will he do to Gilliam? 16! Holy crap! That guy's a truck! But he's basically the boss for uh, this basically whole section of the game, so... I'm sorry, I'm just being amused by Ross. I wouldn't expect anything less. Alright, I just want to see if Naomi... Uh, that was a stupid place to put her, even. Assuming Naomi can even do damage to him. Whoa! No, they weren't. Well, using the javelin is far better than using that silver lance you had. I'll take 8 damage over 16 anytime. But now he can counterattack everyone. Thankfully, he has no chance to crit, though, so. How he hits so hard. <laughs> As 
zero, huh? All right, Archer, thanks. I doubt she'll be able to hurt him either. Yep. Armor Slayer's not going to quite get there. Zero, huh? Will anyone do more than zero, please? Come on, guys, you're... Come on, I gotta get into point blank? I get... Oh, jeez, he does 20! Alright, well, have Erica flanked the side. Thank God. Thank God. Whew. Yeah, excellent. That is a pretty beastly dude. All right, seize the throne and oh, I forgot about that random guy. All right, who wants to finish him? I can't leave. I can't stop a map with somebody still alive. But yeah, I'll, oops, I'll just fast forward the turns here so we don't gotta watch that. I can't just leave someone alive. You know, you just know that enemy's like, oh, I almost got away too. And of course, leave right before a level up. Yep, he almost got away with his life. Well, duh. Yep. Who the crap are you? What's a <laughs> Who is this girl? Like she just walks up and he's like, "Hey, sup?" Like she's been here the whole time. Obviously, she must be one of his soldiers that we just haven't seen before now. That's right. So they were looking for a girl. That guy was looking for a girl with him to go here earlier. Whew! That was a beast. Oh, man, five and a half hours. That's before the save. Whew, I love this game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this time. Next time, we're going to face our branching path and choose whether to go with Erica for the next portion of the game or with Ephraim. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time.